Oh, Lord. We got here on Friday. It's now Saturday. Um, Lucas explained that there's going to be a lot of people here next weekend for Australia Day, long weekend. Um, there's been a couple other cars here. There's a pretty cool 6x6, but there's nobody else camping here. It's literally just us. So, whole park to ourselves. So yeah, we wanted to test the Ranger out in its stock form. So, we hit a few easy tracks. There's a couple of wheelists happening. Had to go out a couple of medium ones, but didn't really stand a chance. We'll show you guys how it went. Um, but yeah, thoroughly recommend coming here and checking this out because, like, I, I don't know how to explain how steep this hill is. It's insane, and the fact that cars just drive drive up it is crazy to me. Do you want to drive, and I'll film you? No. Okay. Do you want me to drive? So if I break it, it's my fault. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> that bit of footage there was from the top of Love Hill. We set off towards Bald Knob Lookout and on the way there, the first limitation we found for the Ranger was definitely some clearance issues. First test for the ranger to get up this steep incline. in confidence we made our way back towards camp where there were a few tracks that we could see from our campsite called the tread hills on the map they're labeled very difficult but we thought why not let's see what this thing's capable of Like if he get over that first hump, maybe, but he get hung up. He get it. He'll get hung up here, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One more. We found its limitation. Hey, have you got your diff locked in? Yeah. Good. Beat it. Get that bread, guys. Your two hands. Oh! 
Oh, Lord. That would have been good if I was down there. <laughs> Guys, we're getting that bread out at the Springs 4x4 park. And the range is proving itself. We found its limit. <laughs> we just need more clearance. And travel. Suspension travel. Something other than stock form. Yeah. It's not well, though. Well, there you go guys, a stock 4x4 out at the Springs 4x4 park with highway tyres. Yes, I know the bull bar's not stock, but really, it's making it nosedive, so it's not really helping anyone. Maybe this video will inspire you to get out there and give it a crack. Now, that's the first time I've done any sort of four-wheel driving like that where I've had a mate outside of the vehicle directing me and telling me where to point the wheels and everything. End of the day guys, it's not what you drive, it's it's about getting out there, giving it a go, spending time with your mates. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button, it really does help us out a lot. But otherwise, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>